Is it possible that there's so much histamine that even the supplemental DAO isn't actually helpful? We have the HMNT enzyme that breaks down histamine within the cells, but what's produced and what's available kind of histamine wise within the GI tract, the only thing that's breaking that down is DAO. Now, I don't know what your experience has been, but most of my clients who have these issues find the DAO supplements to be completely not helpful. And so I started to think about that because I'm always curious, like, why isn't something working? It's great when like you go on all these like naturopathic and functional medicine websites and they're like, oh, I'll take this. And I'm like, yeah, but that doesn't work. <laughs> like, why doesn't it work? I want to know. And so what I realized was that it's not just the mast cells that are the problem within the body. You can actually be a literal walking histamine production factory and not even realize it because all these functional doctors at the time, so this was back in like 2017, 2018, were still like, oh, we should test for a genetic snip of the DAO enzyme. And I'm like, let's go the simplest route. So I tested this out and a lot of people didn't respond. They noticed no improvement whatsoever and didn't feel any better. So I'm thinking to myself like, well, is it possible that there's so much histamine that even the supplemental DAO isn't actually helpful? Because that could be possible, right? If it exceeds the threshold, even with supplemental DAO, the answer is not, well, let's just throw in more DAO, right? And that was where I started to look at organisms that I either could destabilize mast cells. At the same time, there are some organisms that drive up our more allergic side of the immune system that will elevate, for example, your eosinophils. That was where I started to really get curious about this whole microbiome component 